lifecycle methods in react in this video i am going to cover main common react lifecycle methods and i will not cover a few methods which are going to be deprecated in the next version of react what is this lifecycle methods react lifecycle methods are a series of events that happen from the birth of the react component to its end Every React component goes through these three phases. First is a mounting. When React mounts or inserts component to DOM. Second is updating. When React updates its component whenever there is a change of state or prop. And the last is unmounting. When React removes the component from the DOM tree. Let me show you a diagram of lifecycle methods. This diagram is from the official React documentation. I will put a link in the description so that you can learn from it. In this diagram, there are two main phases. One is render phase and other is commit phase. In render phase, there are two main methods which is constructor and render. And in the commit phase, React updates DOM and refs and different methods like component did mount, component did update and component will unmount are involved. Let's understand from mounting phase. First is a constructor method. If you know about this then you can skip to the next method. The constructor for a react component is called before it is mounted. Now as you can see here if you are using a props then you have to pass this props in the constructor and also in the super keyword. You should call super before any other statement. Otherwise, this dot props will be undefined in the constructor, which can lead to bugs. React constructors are only used for two purposes. Initializing a local state by assigning an object to this dot state. And the second, binding event handler methods to an instance. Remember, you should not call set state in the constructor method. And if you don't initialize state and you don't bind methods, you don't need to implement a constructor for your React component. Let's see the second method, which is the render method. As the name suggests, it is the method that actually outputs or renders HTML to DOM. As you can see in the example, render method will render a hello world on the screen. The render method is the only required method in a class component. You must have a render method in the class component and it should have return keyword. A render method has to be pure with no side effects, which means it will always return a same output when the same inputs are passed. You cannot modify the component state within the render method. So you cannot use set state method inst inside of render method. One more thing. In the updating phase, as you can see here, there are two less common method in box before render method. So when you update anything or change state and props, this method ensures that if your component need to render or not. So render method will only run if should component update method returns true as it won't. Next method is component did mount. This method is called after your component is mounted and ready. In this method, you can initiate API calls if you need to load data from remote endpoint and also use a set state method. Let's understand this method by an example. Create a file clock.js. In this file, I'm creating a class component using a React snippets. After this, create a constructor and create one state called date. Initialize it with new date. In the return, just write hello world, hello world in the h1 tag. And let's display time by it is 
this dot state dot date dot dot to local time stream. Save this and import clock component in the app.js file. As you can see here, we have our clock, but it is not updating time itself. Let's create one button and name it as a update. Create an on click method, name it tick, and set state again with the current date. And call this method in the button. As you can see here, whenever I click on this button, clock is updating. But what if you want to update it by itself? To do that, create a component did mount method and inside of it, I am creating a set interval of 1 second. and calling a tick method inside of it. So when a component is mounted, then component did mount method will run, which will update states for every seconds, which re-renders the whole component every second. Calling the set state here will update state and cause another rendering, but it will happen before the browser updates the UI. Now mounting phase is completed, so let's see the method of updating phase, which is component did update method. Component did update is invoked immediately after the updating occurs. Also, this method is not called for the initial render. You may call set, set state immediately in component did update, but not like we did in the component did mount. For using a set state in this method, it must be wrapped in a condition. Let's understand this by an example. Create a component did update method here. This method provides us a three values, previous props, previous state and snapshot. In this method, to set our update state, we must put a condition before using a set state. So we will compare current time state and previous time state, which is going to be different. So then we will use set state. Let's create a new state to see how this method works. Create count state and initialize it with zero. If this condition becomes true, then we will increment the count state. In the render method, display this count state as this component is updated this dot state dot count times. This means that whenever any update happens, then this method will invoke and increases the count state. As you can see here, it is working great. Also remember, component did update will not be invoked if should component update returns false. Let's see the last method, which is a component will unmount. This lifecycle method is called just before the component is unmounted and destroyed. Perform any necessary cleanup in this method, such as invalidating timers, cancelling network requests, or cleaning up any subscriptions that were created in component did mount method. To see how component will unmount method work, we have to create one more component. 
create a file here uh, display clock dot js create a class component and new state called show which is initially true in the render method we will render clock component using a conditional rendering which means that if this dot state dot show is true then return clock component as return clock remove create one button here we want this button to change the state show to false for that create one method called delete clock this method will set the show state to false or true call this method in the button and in the app file instead of clock render display clock component in the clock component create a component will unmount method and alert that clock component will unmount save it and check Whenever you click on delete clock button, it is setting show state to false, which will unmount the clock component and displays clock is removed. So when clock component is unmounting, then component will unmount method invoked and shows us an alert. You should not call set state in component will unmount because the component will never be re-rendered. Let's quickly summarize what we learned in this video. React component has three phases, mounting, updating and unmounting. Constructor is first method which invokes in the render phase. Render method is used to render HTML on screen. You must require render method in class component and you cannot use set state inside of it. Component in mount inbox as soon as your component is mounted, you can use set state here. Component did update inbox as soon as you update the component and you cannot you can use set state here but with conditions. Component will unmount inbox just before component gets destroyed. You can use this method for cleanup but cannot use set state here. That's it for this video. If you like this video then please do subscribe. I want to reach at least 1000 subscribers as soon as I can. And also if you have any suggestions regarding any topic then feel free to reach out in the comment section. Thanks for watching.